Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another playthrough of Westland Survival. How we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. Okay, so time of this recording, you guys would have already had the update by now, so welcome to 13.2. Yes, a little late to the party this time round. Uh, usually I am pretty quick on these and I do upload quite um, fast and you guys get to enjoy um, some of the update videos that I do so apologies on, on that one there but had a lot of things going on anyway so I'll go through the bits and pieces of the um, update notes that I've got here on my other screen and we'll just sort of blast through these there's really not a lot to actually go through so I'm, I just wanted to spend you know a couple of minutes with that um, and go through some of the new features that have been made available in the game so what's new the Pine Forest has been completely redesigned. There is a chance to find some interesting events out there. So we're going to obviously go ahead and check that out. Um, add a new icons for the Medicative Herb, Plantago, um, Agastache, so that you could see it on the mini map. Now, I'm actually glad they've done that. Um, for the longest time, ever since they've um, added those new items into the game, um, it's always been a hard thing to note what you're looking for on this little mini map just up here on the top right, right hand corner. So it's actually good. I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, what else have they done? The damage which has been consumed by armor will be visible during the attack. Okay, so we'll, we'll see how that sort of pans out. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, the ninth wave difficulty has been lowered in the Canyon Trials. We have added an option to check locations description while you are traveling. I actually like that addition to this game. So we're actually going to go ahead and um, play around with that as we're sort of moving along between zones. But um, I'm actually happy with um, the fact that they've added that. I mean, it's just one of those little 1% of things that I feel that, you know, they should actually do it. And it makes a whole lot of sense to actually do that anyway. So, you know what? Good on you guys. Uh, thanks for doing that. So, what else have they done? They have replaced the granite by, uh, with basalt in the dried forest. Now, that I'm a little bit disappointing about. Uh, disappointed about, sorry. Um, they should, in my opinion, I reckon they should have kept it the way it was. But, um, I sort of get it. As, um, as to why that they may have done it this way as well. So look, it is what it is. Um, not much you can do with that. Nights in the game have been made brighter, which is awesome. Um, and they've just done a few little bug fixes. So fix a bug when damage wasn't displayed in the building mode. Uh, fix a bug when bounty hunters haven't shown up in some locations. Fix a bug with bodyguards when they attack your character right after entering a location. Yeah, fix the bug when bodyguards, when they didn't react to players, with the bodyguards when they didn't re uh, react to the players. Sorry, I had to re read that. But yeah, that's pretty much um, how it goes with the new update. And I might do that later, I'm not too sure, but we'll see how we go. But for now, we'll grab the old horsey here, uh, feed you up with a little bit of food, and we'll get right into it. So yeah, um, and to note, I think this has been a first, but um, both platforms have got the update simultaneously, which is an awesome thing, always good. Um, have they changed the icon to the pinery? Is, is that now a medium zone? It's not an orange zone, it's now yellow. Hm, wasn't aware of that. And then you've got the dried forest still out here. So yes, you can see that there's no more granite. Fortunately, that's gone. Have they pumped it up over here? Um, they actually haven't. Oh. Usually, I thought the oak grove would actually... Oh no, what am I doing? It's in here, of course. Uh, okay, well, it hasn't really changed because it's always been like that, I believe. But otherwise, I don't think there's anything else that's been... Uh, changed around the mixed forest is still there and you've still got the abandoned one which is still there anyway let us run over and let's have a look okay so I do like this and purely because if I forget what's where, where's where or you know what's here kind of thing you can sort of still check out and see what's around and you can sort of make a mental note as to where you want to go thereafter so 
I kind of like that. So uh, these little one percenters, I guess, at the end of the day is what I'm sort of enjoying. But let's head into the pine forest. And I want to check this out. Um, okay, so this is the first time I'm actually playing through it. So I haven't actually seen this before. Uh, once it loads in. So a complete redesign. Alright, so we've got a burnt out campfire. Nothing that you can do there. We've got some berries over here. Alright, so far it doesn't look that different. I mean, well, colour wise, there's been some additions to vegetation and things like that that's sort of been added in, which is kind of neat. Um, okay, there you go. See these little icons here for the medicated herbs that you can sort of identify that they've been changed, which is kind of neat. Oh, okay. What do we got over here? Ah. Ah. Look at this guy. What do you think you're doing? Okay, so we've got like a little, um, little area over here that we can sort of discover over there. It's like a little campsite area, which is interesting. I don't want to go in there just yet. I just want to sort of follow around and just see oh yeah so as, as you notice as I was sort of hitting the um, shooting the the outlaw there you notice that he's it's like a little defensive <laughs> excuse me a little defensive buff as you can see there that's sort of just um, reduced well it's sort of changed as you're sort of shooting got some little rocks that have been added in which is kind of neat you know what it visually looks very pleasing and I can say right now from a development point of view it would have taken them a ton of time to actually get something like this added into the game quite a number of resources to oh hello um oh get your hands off that no oh, so they don't actually attack you they're sort of like a neutral um uh, neutral enemy so if you do something I'm, I'm assuming that they might um engage and attack you but what, what was I saying yeah so basically as you can see they are uh, sorry the map itself it looks pretty simple but you can see it's quite um, they would have taken a long time to sort of redesign the map and you know throw this sort of thing in so yeah, it's actually really good that they've done this um, I'm actually quite um, surprised with the results uh, with the map so yeah well done to the developers right here but I want to come back to here. What's going on with you? Ooh. And there's a grave. That's cool. Pretty nice. Right, so let's come back here. These guys, I don't know what they're doing. Can I shoot them? I cannot. How about if I get lost? Okay. Ah, okay. So you sort of got to pretty much um, start opening up the... Um, uh, the loot there and then that's when they sort of decide to um, turn on you kind of thing so if anything you could probably just leave them alone but naturally you me everyone else would want to just open up and see what's inside so that's what we're doing so you get a copper axe some wood it's not too bad especially if you're sort of like early in game you know it's a, it's a reasonable find so I think that's what they've sort of set it up as um, okay, let's go back over here because I really want to get right into here and see what I can um, grab and obtain. Let's see, we'll just take you out, move into here. A couple of guys here with the old bow and arrow with the goon here. Just take him out. Have you dropped in anything interesting for me? I'll just grab that and that. Yes. Oh, you got some little boots, full quality. And what do you have? I'll take the meat. Oh, okay. And you got people just running in out of nowhere, out of, <coughs> excuse me, out of random. Oh. Oh, that's a female NPC player. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Well, there you go. First NPC. 
So we've got two chests here, so I'm assuming if I open up one of these, do people run in? I'm not too sure. Doesn't look like it. You know what, they should add something like that. So if you're trying to open up these type of loots, you have like another wave of enemies coming through and trying to attack you, um, trying to attack you whilst you're looting. I think that would be pretty cool, but not a bad little redesign. Now I'm not too sure if there's any other versions or variations of this, so what we might do is I might just duck out and we'll run back in, give it another go and see if there's anything, um, any changes to the map itself. If it doesn't, it is what it is and we'll just go ahead and loot around again, but so far so good, it looks pretty cool. Now I'm guessing they're just sort of trialing this as well, I mean they, the you gotta, you got to sort of think about it, the developers wouldn't essentially redesign, fully redesign a map or one map kind of thing and then expect it to you know leave it at that so what I'm thinking is possibly in the next upcoming updates I think we're gonna see redesigns all around so they'll probably start with other zones first slowly integrate it because as I said to do just one zone whether or not it's just one map style or there's a couple of map style variations we won't know exactly but if they're going to do you know maybe possibly maybe one to say one to three map styles of the same map um, I think it'll take quite some time for it to sort of you know get fully implemented into the game but that's just my opinion but I would think that since they started on this zone that we're probably going to see a change everywhere else eventually I think I would probably think they should do you know something like this the stone plateau just sort of integrate the green zones first move into the yellow orange then obviously red or if they've got you know a full timeline of when they're planning, planning to do something like this you know are we gonna have like one major update I guess that might be a thing, who knows. <clears throat> okay, so... Different map. Different map, actually. Very different map. So that's cool. This is really, really cool. There you go, so... I'm sure that you guys have already confirmed these yourselves, but... Yeah. Uh, different vi map variations so yeah look they've actually spent the time and completely made a massive overhaul of the map and zone which is quite awesome I'm actually really impressed it's a really really good looking map I'm just sort of doing a perimeter run just sort of around just to see how it all sort of looks Actually, you know what would be really, really cool, as a suggestion, of course, if you tap on the minimap up top there, you know, it should give you the ability to say, you know, either expand the minimap a little bit, just as like a, a small overlay of the whole zone and areas that you've actually ran into. I know like a lot of um, similar, like PC games do this on um, similar platforms, you know, similar genre of games. I don't know how, how much effort it will need to be to actually, you know, implement something like that into the game. But I think something like that would be actually really cool. And, you know, a, a first for a mobile game of the genre type to actually do something like that or adopt it. So that's a suggestion I would actually, yeah, would want to be added into the game. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So question will be, can we have, what happened there? Oh, okay, I just, um, and it's, of course. Um, yeah, so, question is, tap on the mini-map and have it expanded a little bit so you know where areas of the map that you, I guess, have, um, explored. And in addition to that, um, it'll show you where everything is. I don't know if it's cheating. Who knows? I don't know if it's something that, you know, that could be a game changer or making the game too easy I guess in a sense but also it doesn't sort of don't give you like as soon as you walk in I should say doesn't give you the full map so 
you still need to, you know, explore the map. So, you know, the the um, the area of your player. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. So the area of the map that you can see from your player will be dictated by what can be uncovered when you click on the mini map. That's I don't know. I'm just thinking. That could be something interesting to see. I don't know, but I just figured that might be, you know, an interesting concept. But look, it, it's actually a really, really cool map. It actually reminds me of um, another game that I that I've been playing religiously for a very long time. Um, so a little game called Stormfall Saga of Survival. It hasn't been um, updated in a little bit, unfortunately. But having say, having said that, I should say. Um, it's one of the first games of what I can remember that had you know, similar styles and things like that. Um, I want to go ahead and click this. Ooh, we have an underground. There's underground, or there's another level. That's so cool. So yeah, this is totally how like Saga of Survival had done this um, a little while back with um, you know doing like little tunnels, um, yeah. cellars, oop, dying of thirst, um, uh, what else was, um, you know, like little, oh, just general like little areas and things like that, I can't really think about it right now, but this is really cool, I'm actually really impressed, so we've actually got, you know, there's a bear there, so that's obviously the little boss, but you would think there would be a little bit more enemies down here, I'm not going to lie to you, but how cool is that? How cool is that? So the ability that you can come down here into into a separate area and you know loot up you know what's down here. That's actually really cool. So if they have actually taken the time to do something like this, for sure there are going to be other zones that are going to um, have this same implementation in upcoming updates. It has to happen. So yeah, why not? I think they've just tested the wards out to see how well the um, the servers sort of react to it to, by play to band once you know once it's out to the masses. So now that it looks like that it works quite well, quite fluidly, I should say, um, has actually no problems here. Do I have to? Okay, I have to go right up to the uh, to the end there to get out. So with that being said, there are different different variations of. You know this style of map which is cool so I'm actually excited to see what else would be here if there's going to be anything else so I might just do one more duck out and run in but what I feel I mean seeing that they've done this I probably would have thought they would have done this to the abandoned mine first as in like your additional level so if you actually go down to yes I know I've annoyed the cowboys they are coming I'll deal with them at another time but let's quickly run over here just out of curiosity. I don't think that they would have done it, but it doesn't hurt to check. But you, you get what I'm saying. If you, you've got a zone like the abandoned mine, the abandoned mine should either be one of two things. Number one, it should, it should automatically be inside a mine, okay? Number two, which is what I'm gonna prefer, is a second level. So you would have your general map, and you know, assume that it's redesigned like the pine, uh, the pine forest. Let's just take you out. Yep. So, and then you'd sort of run somewhere in here and find the entrance to the abandoned cave. So that's that's where it should be. But as you can see, there's really not much going on here. Just take these guys out. <coughs> It's a very, um, it's a very bland zone at the moment. So as you can see, there's really not much that is going on, and I'm just sort of blasting through this just real quickly, just to sort of get my point across. Yes, there is a couple of versions of the map that do have like a little, um, like a little, um, it's like a little house or rundown house, you know, things like that. Anyway. That's what I think that they should do, but again, um, I think that that it's going to come in time. So yeah, hats off to them for that. 
Uh, let's just quickly run across over here. And I promise I'm going to quickly go in back into the pine forest to see if it's been changed again. But I just want to sort of show you what I'm sort of, you know, my theory behind. Um, or what they should be doing, I guess. But I, I would, you know what, I'm probably 80% sure at this point in time without even talking to anyone that it's going to happen. It's obviously just going to take time until they, there's a bit of a, a bit of a momentary lag there. They will certainly do something like that in future updates. So, reason why I'm here real quick is just purely so I can run down through here and just see the different um, icons on the minimap for the different resources that we just got told. So, so you think that would be one there, but it's really not. There you go. So, you have Plantago, and then you've got this one here, which is another Plantago. And, oops. Oh, take you out then that's another plantago I think there should be some sort of um, agastache around here as well um, I'll just quickly grab that Oop, no no grab that and let's just quickly run over here and just run through these buffaloes here is there all the jute trees? What's that up there? Just take you out. These are just all the medicated herbs again. There's really nothing uh, different here. Um, yeah, there's no agastache, so that's weird. I'm assuming it's something like this, but I just want to see the icon on the minimap itself. Not too sure what's going on there. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I just sort of wanted to sort of show you guys as well at the same time, but like I said, I think at this stage you guys probably would have seen a lot of this by now, so I'm not going to be too fussed about it. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but let's quickly run back to the pine forest and just quickly check for a third time if the map is in fact different again. If it's the same as the first two, then we know there's probably going to be anywhere up to two different maps but let's see if there's like any you know three or you know possibly four maps I guess or whatever that might be because it wasn't really stated here in the um, the developer notes on the Facebook page so we'll quickly check it out I'll try and blast through this as quick as I can I know I'm on, I'm on a bit of a time myself okay let's see what have we got Okay, so we've got the guys over here. So the map looks fairly the same as the other one. Okay, so it looks like there's only just going to be two different map variations. Oh no, maybe not, because that's a bit different. You've got a broken down cart, you've got a couple of survivors here that are no longer alive. Do you have an entrance into the zone? There's just a lot of coyotes around here. Okay, and then, oh, okay, you got a house, you've actually got an actual house house, so that's cool, wow, okay, so there's like three different maps already, just quickly do a quick run around here, alright, let's run all the way back over here, and I would assume the same thing would happen, these guys are just, they're freaking out because I've walked in here, I'm like, well, you know, who are you? What are you doing? And then as soon as I start opening up this, get lost. As soon as they turn red. Yeah. And let's just take them all out one by one. And he, he's just running around the, the other end. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Um, let's see what you've got. Oh, can I get in? Yes, I can, come on, there we go. Um, I'll take and eat the meat. You have nothing of interest there. Okay, so there's a few fun little events, and you know what? It's actually good little fun little events, to be honest with you. You sort of, you know, 
having um, a bit of a purpose coming back into your other aside from <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> uh, aside from you know just farming for basic resources like wood and things like that oops, and then these guys are already already annoyed with you so I think if you have already um, annoyed well since I've already annoyed the guys in the little um, in the little house there they've already these guys who've already turned on you so again same thing what you get so I don't think that's gonna change unless if it changes after a certain amount of time that you actually would um, uh, open up that chest there but otherwise it's all pretty much all good yeah so what was I saying before so it's not so much a um, you know a basic zone is a is a squared map run through do what you need to do and get the hell out there's actually a little bit more involved in involvement here and I really like that so again I'm gonna uh, reference uh, the saga of survival game because that's I'm not saying this is where they've taken the idea from but what I'm saying is that this is very very similar to that game in, um, entirely so really really cool I really actually enjoyed this type of um, uh, map design and layouts actually really happy or surprised I should say that there was a second level that you can go down into like a little cave and I hope they do that with other zones as well but like I said I think this is the start of a complete redesign of the game and this is where we're probably going to find once these new zones have opened up or full new redesign of these zones have been implemented I think that's where we're going to get the next tier of resources that's when these things probably would come and that's my thoughts on the subject matter but I think I've gone a little bit over time today so I appreciate you guys stopping by watching the video as always drop a like leave a comment let me know what you think about these new updates and what my thoughts were and I want to hear what you guys think anyway I'm gonna get out of here I'll catch you next time and for now see ya